I think we can all agree that the last year has been the worst in Apple's entire history when it comes to software. Nothing but nonstop bugs, glitches, just the worst possible experience you can get from a company that makes such amazing hardware. So in this video, as a year ends review of Apple's iOS 11 software, I wanna go ahead and take a look at the worst bugs that it contained, what we had to deal with. And this is just scratching the surface. There is so much more than what I'm showing you, but these have to be the biggest. And I'm gonna start with one of the randomest ones. On December 2nd, once your iPhone hit 12.15 a.m., many people experienced respringing, crashing nonstop. Your phone would just go over and over and respring. And the only fix was this was to update 11.2. Apple actually released it on a weekend, which was a first ever to fix it. Next up, probably one of the most famous ones, the Telugu character bug, where you'd send someone these Indian characters, the iPhone wouldn't be able to process what it was being sent, so as a result, it would crash. And you can keep doing this over and over, basically causing someone's phone to stop working completely almost. And if you sent it in Instagram or Snapchat, it would actually stop portions of that app from working. And this has gotta be one of the worst bugs in Apple's history. So next up is the unexpected shutdown issue. At first, it was thought to be a glitch. You know, your phone would just randomly shut shut off around 20 to 30% battery life, but later it was discovered that it was sort of a feature, not a bug. I mean, that should be Apple's slogan. And Apple actually came out and admitted that they were doing this. They were throttling your CPU usage in order for you to get better battery life. But as a result, it would cause unexpected shutdowns. And this whole fiasco was one of Apple's biggest messes to date as well. So hopefully we don't have to go through that again in iOS 12. And next up, an absolutely crazy one. I thought the days of passcode bypasses were gone, but iDevice Help did discover this one where if you actually texted someone three emojis in response to a call, hung up and then called again and went back into the messages, from there you can actually get into the portion of the messages app where you can explore your photos, even go into the message app store, this is a pretty dang big bug and something Apple wanted fixed almost right away. And next up, the endless but annoying autocorrect bugs. So there were several versions of this. This one was where you clicked I and it would autocorrect this A character and then a hidden Unicode symbol for whatever reason. There was also one that corrected I to IT and it was really frustrating. And this next one was just a testament to how bad iOS 11 was. They had a text rendering bug show up in an actual advertisement. They pushed out that multiple people were working on. They later did fix it, but it was just funny how that slipped by them as most of these bugs usually do. And most recently, the black dot bug, which yes, I am guilty of making. And this is something that Apple just can't prevent because they never envisioned that these certain amount of characters would ever hit an iPhone and cause problems like preventing your messages app from ever opening. And online, many software engineers do tend to agree that the best way to keep these kind of bugs from happening is for Apple to completely rewrite the text handling engine in iOS. It's something that they haven't really redone. They're just patching all these symptoms of the issues. And yes, another text that when sent to somebody could cause their iPhone to freeze. This one was because of a preview issue where a website could populate the little preview part inside of the messages and just spam it with a bunch of Unicode text. And as a result, when your iPhone tried to read that preview, it would freeze it. It seems like there is no end to these sort of text message freeze and crash bugs, and maybe even more in the future are coming unless Apple does something about it. Another privacy bug where Siri would read you your third party notifications from apps like Gmail or WhatsApp without having to enter your passcode. All you'd have to do is ask her to read it for you and bypassing all of the security that Apple put in place, she would do so. Uh, and how can we forget the famous calculator bug? It's an input lag bug where you would click one plus two plus three and it would give you an answer of 24 instead of the correct one, which is six. So Apple updated the animations and fixed it later on. Now this one was closer to the release of the iPhone in the very early days of iOS 11, but when the iPhone 10 was in a cold temperature, the screen would stop responding or respond very poorly. And it's interesting to me that this was a software issue and not hardware. I would have thought that, you know, being in cold, that the screen being a hardware issue would stop responding, but Apple patched it with a later version of iOS 11. And one that was super frustrating, a lot of people had to experience this both on iOS 10 and now again in iOS 11, updating to a newer version of iOS 11 would actually brick it and keep it from turning on just because you had a third party display on. Some would turn on, but just wouldn't respond. And this next one was very dangerous, but for the people that got to experience it, very beneficial. If you had an activation iCloud lock device, you could use this glitch where spamming 000 on the activation lock screen where you can unlock with the passcode would actually entirely bypass the activation lock screen where you can go ahead and enter your iCloud afterwards and completely reset the phone. It was ridiculous. It was the first time in my entire history of working on YouTube that I was able to actually bypass an iCloud lock device and keep it that way. And this one's still 
happens. It's super annoying. Next time your battery gets below 5%, try to use it. Use some animations. It slows to a complete crawl. It's almost impossible to use. I'm hoping Apple fixes that in iOS 12. And this one happens to me way more on iPads, but this happens all the time. Icons overlap menus, menus overlap certain things that they're not supposed to. There's definitely some sort of weird rendering issue going on in iOS 11. And messages has been very problematic in iOS 11 from the beginning, from these multiple typing indicators, which were super annoying to this, where your messages would appear completely out of order. Many people are still experiencing this even on iOS 11.3.1. And this one isn't very common, but I've seen a lot of people experiencing it where your apps just decide to go on a journey and float away, but they never quite do. They just sit there stuck on your home screen. And I've had endless issues with the lock screen music player. One, it would stick around even after music would stop playing. Two, the progress indicator just sticks at 000 or 001 and just stays there no matter where you're at in the song. So guys, there it is. Those are my most frustrating issues I've had with iOS 11, the worst bugs. I hope Apple can learn from this and certainly improve iOS 12.